we were in Kona and we couldn't fit all our tech into just one video, so we made two. Join me as we walk around the expo and find some more hot tech from Kona 2024. Cruising around the expo and I bumped into Brad Weiss and he's got a new bike. He called him the Giant Trinity. It's a prototype Giant Trinity though, although he's not really allowed to tell me anything about it. Apparently it should be available January 2025 and both Brad Weiss and Gustav Eden are riding this version of the bike. Uh, quite a few changes though, basically a whole new frame from the previous Giant Trinity. It's got really wide forks, much wider than the previous ones. It's also got wider seat stays and a wider, very narrow tube there. It's uh, surprisingly narrow. Um, it's got a few new features, but I don't really know any more than that. And he's paired it, of course, with his Kdex quad spoke wheels, which have been around for a while. It's a very slick looking bike and it's very, very light. We're now at the Vision stand and a few new products to talk about, starting with their wheels, the Metron SL91. Now this is actually the Metron SL91, the front version, which has actually been around for a while and been running the Pro Tour, etc. And what Vision found was that when they tested this wheel, it was so fast that they were like, we really need to make a rear wheel the same design as that. And then they came to Kona and realized you went a lot of discs and they absolutely had to make this solution. So they now have a rear version of it, the Metron SL91 rear version. And it's a pretty good looking wheel. A nice wide uh, internal rim width, 21 millimeters. So you can put pretty much any tire on there. Optimized for 28 millimeters, but you can go significantly wider than that if your frame allows, of course. Uh, and then it's got the PRS ratchet system in there, which is got 72 poles, which is really smooth. And it means you've got pretty much instant power transfer when you do put the power down after, after a bit of freewheeling. It's a slick Peter Sikit. And then they've got a disc, so let's talk about that. So this is the Metron TTW lenticular disc. Now, it's not your traditional disc wheel, with just two sheets of carbon fiber on either side. It's actually built around their 45 wheel uh, and then there's spokes inside there and the cover over it and that's for a good reason it's not just to keep costs down although it does keep costs down it also gives you a much more comfortable much more compliant wheel that actually feels good to ride and is forgiving when you're going up hills down hills and there's slightly rougher bumpier roads but with very little cost in your aerodynamics because you still have this perfect cover now the cover is a bit concave on this side to give some clearance for that rear derailleur on the other side less so and obviously they have to bow it out a little bit for those spokes but that doesn't actually have much of a aerodynamic cost it is also 21 millimeters internal rim width so you again optimize for a 28 millimeter tire but you can put anything up to a 30 millimeter tire on there if you need that uh, additional comfort on your rear disc thing here at Vision, the TFE Team Edition custom extensions. Now, they're not actually custom. They don't have to mold your forearm like some 3D printed thing. You can buy them off the rack, but they come in three different lengths. And of course, they mold around your, your forearm. So you've got that aero shape, but then they're fully adjustable. So you choose your length and then you can change the angle up and down. There's like a half moon bolt there that you can change. There are multiple bolts in here, so you can move them in, out, forward, back, and really dial in your setup while still having that pro level position and aerodynamics. It's essentially what's been coming for a long time with all of these custom 3D printed aero extensions. And now you can buy them off the rack. So behind me is a brand new bike from Factor. We actually did Rudy Von Berg's Factor Hanzo that he's riding this weekend, but uh, there's a new bike from Factor. Unfortunately, it only releases in December, and I can't actually show you the bike or actually tell you any more about it. So we're gonna leave it there, but it is coming, and it's pretty cool. Now we come to the form stand, and uh, form revolutionary in the head-up display in your smart goggles, these smart swim goggles. 
And every time we see them, they seem to come up with some new technology. Lately, they got the Smart Swim 2, their new version of the goggles. A few key feature changes here. This mount on the side is 15% smaller, so more hydrodynamic. The gas gets improved so that it gets a better seal. This is a bit longer. And of course, they've also included the optical heart rate sensor in your temple. So you get an accurate heart rate while you're swimming. But the real key feature for uh, triathletes out there is the swim straight feature. Now this is a pretty advanced piece of technology because essentially it's a magnetometer, which is an electronic compass, essentially, which uses the magnetic north to figure out what direction you're facing. But obviously with a normal compass, you have to hold it level in your hand so you know which direction is north. But you can't hold your head level in the water while you're swimming and breathing to the left and breathing to the right and sighting, etc. So how does it measure that? Well, it's a pretty smart piece of kit. It calibrates on your head movements. And then when you get in the water, it'll keep you pointing in the right direction. And they worked out that most people, when they swim in an Ironman swim, swim about 5% further than they should be swimming with their gradual changes in direction and corrections, etc. 5% further, 100 to 200 meters extra you're swimming. That's two minutes, three minutes, four minutes that you can save just by swimming straight. And here's your solution to swim straight. It's a pretty nifty piece of kit and they're pretty comfortable on your eyes too. I might have to go and have another swim in the ocean. Any excuse really. See what uh, fish I can see while I'm out there. All right, we're now at the Profile Design stand and uh, noticed this little collaboration with Precision Fuel and Hydration and Profile Design. Uh, got it mounted on a Quintana Roo XPR here. Uh, you can mount it on pretty much any bike that has brazon bolts on the uh, top tube. And it's a gel bottle. It's called the HSC 250, which is a bit of an ironic name because it actually holds nearly 300 mils. And you can put up to six gels, nearly six gels in there. It's got little markers for how much fluid you've taken or how many gels you've taken and then it just very neatly slots in there and when it slots in it actually closes the bottle seals it no gel spilling all over the place squirting out of the nozzle all over your nice clean bike a uh, very neat solution to uh, carrying your gels on race day i found this van russell xcr time trial helmet triathlon helmet uh, We've actually seen this before at Eurobike, the black version. This is the white version, which is not yet released to the public uh, later this year, early next year, maybe released. Uh, it's a pretty good looking helmet and pretty comfortable. I actually got a chance to ride it the other day through the lava fields. It has this removable port that just pops out and uh, allows some ventilation. And they say absolutely no cost, no aerodynamic cost from taking that out. Uh, it does have a port to the back, so the air flows over your, over your head with some channels through the middle that allow it to flow. And it actually is surprisingly cool, considering how closed the helmet is. Uh, Denis Chevro will be riding it this weekend here in Kona, so watch out for him. It has a removable visor. It actually comes with two visors, clear and this one, with six magnets holding it on. And they are strong magnets. It pops on really comfortably. Uh, yeah, available for £249. Later this year, as I say, the black one already available. And I really like the white. Well, we're in Kona and it's hot. And that means everyone's looking for ways to keep cool. Now, earlier this year at Eurobike, we saw the glacier tape from Ultra Cool Tech, which is basically bar tape that when it gets wet and then the water evaporates, it gets a real cooling effect and really makes your hands feel cool. Now, they've taken it to the next level now. They've got the Ultra Cool towel which you can carry with you or put around your neck or whatever. Uh, they've obviously got the ultra cool tape. And then we bumped into Dennis from Ceramic Speed and I'm wearing his apron here. And you might be thinking, why would I be wearing an apron? And what would ultra cool tech have to do with it? So what they've done, he's actually got three different versions because he's testing them and we're better to test than here in Kona. But he's testing the technology. He sprays his apron with a bit of water and then the ultra cool, ultra cooling technology makes it evaporate and cool and he doesn't feel so hot underneath the, the apron. He swears by it and says it's far more comfortable working in the ceramic speed booth with uh, this on. He doesn't sweat underneath. It does feel like it's damp underneath, but it's not actually. It's just kind of cool. It's a 
pretty revolutionary. We've also heard from Ultra Cool Tech guys that a certain Patrick Langer may be sporting some headgear that uh, may have this technology in it. No more details than that, but we'll keep a very close eye out on race day. So I saved this one for towards the end of a long day of walking around the expo looking at stuff because ah, oh, relaxing compression technology in my legs, giving me a free massage. This is the Hyper Ice Normatec Elite, also called the Hyper Ice Normatec Premier in Europe. And they are brand new boots that no longer have wires or tubes anywhere. The whole thing, in fact, fits in this bag, perfect for traveling. Still the same technology that you're used to with Normatec, the uh, graduated air compression massage. Uh, each leg has four hours and 45 minutes of charge of battery time, so you can use them quite a lot before you need to charge them again. In fact, you shouldn't be doing four hours of massage any, at any point. They can also, which the previous models didn't have, you can separate the left and right legs, which means you can change this one to a recovery massage. And if you have an injury or something on this side, you can change the amount of compression, the amount, the type of compression on this leg and have them independent. Uh, right now I've got them synced, so they're doing exactly the same thing. Help me recover from a long day on my legs, but uh, you can actually use them independently for the first time. That's a new feature. They retail for 999 US dollars, although you can get them on special here at Ironman for 100 bucks off that. Uh, and they feel amazing. They'll pretty soon pay for themselves if you're getting a massage every week from a massage therapist. Uh, and they can travel with you, unlike your massage therapist. I'll be here for the next half an hour or so if you need me. Well, that's it for our Kona Tech Tour for 2024. What was your favorite piece of tech? Leave it in the comment section down below and let us know. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to GTN for all of our videos. Thanks for watching. I'm off to have a cool drink.